Hey guys, my name is Trev. My name is Leonard. And welcome to another episode of WWF Sustainable Seafood Challenge. So right now, we are at the newly renovated Bosch Experience Center filled with Bosch Home Appliances. And if you guys don't know, Bosch Home Appliances are all energy efficient. That's why it helps to reduce the carbon footprint on our planet. To support green and sustainable living, Bosch is a great partner for WWF. So today, we are here to challenge our chef, John C, to make a sustainable version of a traditional dish, Pen Cai. Pen Cai? No, no. Pen Cai. Not Pen Cai? Let, let's just see if we can do it. Hey Chef! Hi, Hello. good morning. Nice to meet you. Hi, what's, what's up, up Chef? Nice yeah, welcome to the Boss Experience Center. So yeah, I, I told my friend that you're going to mm. make us a Peng Chai today. Hey Chef! Peng Chai is pronounced as Peng Chai, right? No, no, no. Peng it's chai. Peng Chai. Correct. It's Peng Chai. <laughs> okay. So what happens is today, uh, basically, this Peng Chai is a little bit different from the normal one that you actually have. Okay. Uh, to me, this is very much what we call a sea treasure. Okay. And then seriously, Peng Chai normally there's actually a lot of meat and things like that. But yeah, yeah. today, one purely or mostly ninety-nine percent seafood to actually oh, make this dish. Wow. That's, that's a lot of yeah, seafood in right here. A lot of seafood. Yeah, so. So Chef, there's so many seafood here. How do you know that they are sustainable? Uh, they're certified and actually they are all on the sustainable list. So this is the WWF Singapore Seafood Guide. It has like three different colors, green, orange, red. So green is like the recommended one, yeah, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, then the orange one is like, um, think twice. They say think twice. Eh. Think twice yeah, if you twice. cannot have it, then you don't have it. Yeah, and in the, the red, the red one is really highly avoidable. Uh, no. I've been mean, working as a chef for the years and then uh, over these years, you do see fish are just changes, especially those in the red list actually. One of the big dishes that I do remember during the Chinese New Year is actually what we call the steamed white prawn food for the Teichu. Oh, yeah, and then uh, really nowadays you rarely see big platter size. What you get is actually just a pump size of the fish. That's the reason why I'm actually doing the Peng Chai, which is I highly recommend to actually people to actually use um, big koropas, you know, which is under sustainable food list. Oh, and then to actually replace for your pomfort. So Chef, please tell us more about the ingredients that you're going to use today. There's three parts to it. The first part is, you know, where we see the ingredients down here, the prawns, the clams, mm -hmm. and then apples and Ooh. the rice wine. This is actually for the stocks. Oh. And then we have the toppings on the peng chai. And then ah. after we're going to do a sauce, a stock sauce to actually go with it also. Ah. For the substantial seafood, we have the rock lobsters, that is actually the shell, oh. the clams, sea cucumber. Okay, sea cucumber is highly recommended for this dish uh, for the gelatins that is actually uh, very good for the skin. Oh. And then we also have the flower crab, the scallops from uh, China or Japan, uh -huh. and then also the Vietnamese shrimps, uh -huh. the big one. And then uh, this is highly recommended, which is actually the big guru pa. So chef, that is fantastic, man. Not all these ingredients look like it's going to be very delicious. So shall we get started? Yeah, let's get cooking. The first step is actually get some boiling water. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, boiling water. It's actually very, very simple. Oh. But it's getting the right sequence that is actually important. Ah. We are using Bosch equipment, so this is actually, uh, it actually makes work so much more easy. So Chef, I see that you're green adding apple. apple. Why do you add apple into your, your, your stuff? Uh, okay, this is one of the, the secrets. Lah, okay, They actually give it a very nice food tea, food smell. Oh. And then for the white clams, one thing to take note of is make sure that you actually rinse it at least two to three times before you actually use it. Now, shrimps. And lightly blanch in hot boiling water. Oh and then cool it down and then you use it. Okay. So that will actually help you clear away to make sure that your stocks is actually much more clearer. Honey dates. Oh, oh honey dates. Yes, oh. three numbers. Rock, rock sugar. Oh, oh rock sugar. They look like gummy yeah. bear though. Yeah. <laughs> and also finally, the last two ingredients, the red dates. The red wow. dates. Okay, that's very, very And then um, get a bit of rice wine, roughly around one cup of it. So <laughs> finally, bring this to a boy. And then normally I will actually put it into my special cooker. Ooh. which is actually a thermal cooker. Put it in, set it aside for at least one or two hours mm. for the stock to actually slowly get its flavour. Uh, we're actually going to do the base sauce okay, for our peng chai. And then this is actually the flavour, the part where it's important to get a good, to achieve a good flavour. So Chef, you're frying the shallots The shallots, right correct. Oh. Okay, lightly Rough. fried it for a while. Okay. How do you know when it's done? Like, uh, lightly like... brown and wilted actually. There must right. be a nice fragrance okay. to it. Do me a favour. Oh, oh, what is this? 
Oh. Smash it, lightly smash it. Right, right. Is this to like uh, release the fragrance? Correct. Do the same for the... Just oh. just whole bunch. So this is a, a, a root of a plant. So it's a coriander. Uh, root. Coriander roots. Okay. Normally back in Singapore, you know... Uh, people use the leaf. People use more the leaf and then they throw the roots away. Yeah, Do not yeah. throw it away. This is very good. You smell it. Oh, whoa. You see the fragrance. Oh, whoa. Lightly fried it until it's wilted. Wow, okay. So what is the next step? The oyster sauce, the rock sugar. Oh, the Olivia chicken. 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 Oh, yeah. I'm gonna give the chicken first. A little chicken. A little bit of oyster sauce. A tablespoon oh. or so. A little bit of ginger oil. Ginger, ginger oil. oil. So you fry it until it's lightly like brown and rated. Okay. okay. So like you smell it. You know. You're gonna have wow. a sniff. It's hot. Oh. It's, it smells That's very. It. Mm. It could oh, be a dish on yeah. its own, you know? Something, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The next thing you do is, can you pass me the white cabbage? White cabbage, okay. Yeah. Try to okay. put the hard parts of the cabbage at the bottom. Because it takes the longest to yes, cook? Yes, the, the thick part okay. takes a bit longer. And then for the pumpkin, what you can do is arrange it. Ooh. Pumpkin, you're adding pumpkin and yam. Yes, and yam. Uh, oh, okay. okay, arrange it nicely. Okay, let's get the flower crab. Flower crab? Clean away all the scales and also the dirty bits and okay. then wash it, and rinse it in cold water. Cold water. Cold water. Okay. Is there any difference if we just put like crab, like the meat inside instead of like the whole uh, thing? Yeah. Uh, but to me, it's that in Chinese, uh, especially Chinese New Year, uh, one of the things that we really deeply believe is that uh, in Chinese uh, or in Hokkien, I would say, I would tell you must have a head and a tail. Oh, so we must, Chinese believe it has to be whole. You told you So a little bit of the... Uh, sea cucumber. Sea cucumber. Okay. Sea cucumber. Okay. okay. A little bit of the... Uh, lobster? lobster? Yep, the rock lobsters. Items that cooks very fast. Wow. So okay. we're gonna put it on. So and then this is the uh, white clams. White clams. Oh, and then okay. some so th This is the giant grouper that you're talking yes. about. That yeah. is a good replacement for pomfret. Right? Correct. Fill up plenty, plenty. Yeah. New Year yeah. about is about impressive. plenty. Yeah, impressive. Yeah. Your food, impressive. Your food, you know, yeah. Food. yeah. So chef, now it's time for the finishing touch. Yes. Very simple. Wow. Just wow. pour the wow. stalks over it. Put enough uh, liquids until it's almost uh, 80%. 80 and then, do not worry, it looks a little bit high up, but because we have white cabbage, white cabbage, once it's cooked, so it actually will sink down. Okay. And then, a final touch, final which touch. is actually is the, uh, the garnish. Yeah, how the do you read this? Oh, fu? fu? Yeah. Wow. Fu tea. Back in my family, we actually prefer to put the fu upside down. So, it's no oh. reason. The fu tao. Right. Yes, Fu correct. Tao. Basically, Fu's the right? Chinese belief for uh, that Kampi. means you putting ah. the food upside down, right? Mm. Basically, you are saying that the food from the sky dropped into your house. Oh, oh. is that like, like, <laughs> calling your food on yourself? Like... Lightly cover it. Okay. I know it's going to be a bit high, but uh, naturally, yeah. it will just go down by itself. That's so good. don't worry. Let's, let's put it in the oven. Okay, then, then right. after that, let's okay. make sure the oven is actually preheat. It's a bit on the heavy side. Okay. And then. Wow. Let's put it in and yep. right. let's wait 30 minutes. So 30 minutes out, I can't wait to taste the dish that the chef prepared. And today we have two very special guests with us, guest taster, Hui Min and Daphne with us. And we are all going to determine whether Chef John C has passed the sustainable seafood challenge. Yes, the Pen Chai. So yes. without further ado, let's welcome the chef. Yep. Welcome, Chef John C. I can smell it from here. The <laughs> <laughs> now when I think cooking, I can smell it. Wow! Let's start here. Let's go. 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 Let's if you want to have to make this, how do you make sure that all the ingredients are sustainable? Uh, one of the biggest things that you have to do is that go up to the website to look at the seafood guides that uh, WWF have actually prepared for you guys. It actually is a very detailed guide that tells you the species, the country of origin, and then also, most important, look out for the ASC or the MSC stickers. It's, in, in, it's, a, it's a light or deep blue colour stickers that actually will tell you that it belongs to the sustainable seafood family. So what's special about today's pen is that like usually we'll use a uh, pomfret. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but as you know, pomfret is it's, uh, on, the red, it's on the red list. So the chef recommended yeah. that we use giant grouper. Yeah, giant grouper. Yeah. So giant grouper yeah. is on the the thing twice list. Everything else is on the green. I think the green. The green so is the highly recommended. We keep the look up in the future. Guys, guys, yeah. you guys try <laughs> the scallops. Yeah. It's so. Delicious. I'm not exaggerating. It's really delicious. It's so <laughs> fresh. Oh my god, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's let's just let's just not keep eating. Keep eating.
Chef, thank you so much for creating such a wonderful, sustainable seafood dish for this Lunar New Year. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome, mm. always. If you don't want to see your fish get smaller and smaller and eventually disappear, please ensure that it's from a sustainable source so that our future generation can enjoy pleasant-sized fishes. Now you know what to replace with the palm-sized pomfret this dish so that we can nian nian you yu. And remember, always ask for sustainable seafood. Eh, gong xi fa chai. Wan shi ru yi, nian nian you yu chi la.